good morning children in our previous lessons we learnt about the importance of forest so let us learn how plants and animals are being conserved as we saw deforestation is causing lots of changes in the weather drought has become more frequent and global warming is becoming worse we already know trees prevent soil erosion so deforestation is causing soil erosion because of erosion of top layer soil is also losing its fertility soil loses humus layer because of erosion gradually the fertile land gets converted into deserts it is called desertification talking about animals you must be knowing that bengal tiger is an endangered species so what are endangered species animals whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction are known as endangered animals deforestation is also destroying ecological balance loss of habitat has endangered many animals like tiger mountain gorilla giant panda etc that is why government has created many protected forest areas where cutting of trees is prohibited and animals can live safely have you heard of jim corbett national park in uttarakhand national parks are reserved for wildlife where animals can freely use the habitat and their natural resources in this protected forest area cultivation grazing tree cutting etc are prohibited these human activities are prohibited so that animals don't get disturbed and live freely in the natural habitat needless to say that hunting poaching etc is strictly prohibited if someone tries to kill any protected animal he gets arrested and punished thus national parks not just preserve plants and animals they also preserve landscape and historic objects of an area you can go to a national park to observe animals like tiger elephant deer etc in their natural habitat but you are prohibited to do anything which can harm them or disturb them satpura national park is the first reserve forest of india like many other national parks tigers are protected here under project tiger project tiger was launched by government to save tigers a wildlife sanctuary is another kind of protected area like the national park where animals are protected which means killing or capturing animals is prohibited and legally punishable offense unlike national park little human activity is permitted in the wildlife sanctuary but animals are protected from disturbance to them and their habitat great indian buster sanctuary of maharashtra is a wildlife sanctuary for the great indian bustard bird now how do we keep the record of the number of animals and plants that belong to endangered species you know red data book is the source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants what do you mean by flora and fauna the plants and animals found in a particular area are termed flora and fauna of that area you know there are many biosphere reserves to conserve flora and fauna thus biosphere reserve is a large protected area for conservation of plants and animals biosphere reserves are very large and may contain many national parks wildlife sanctuaries etc pachmani biosphere reserve consists of one national park named satpura and two wildlife sanctuaries named bori and pachmani not only flora and fauna 
biosphere reserves also protect many local tribal people living there some commercial activities like mining tourism etc are permitted to an extent in this reserves the nilgiri biosphere reserve in the western ghats and nilgiri hills ranges of south india includes the madumulai mukurthi wayanad and bandipur national parks it protects many endangered animals like tiger lion tail macaque nilgiri tar etc we already know about endangered animals when we are talking about endangered species we must also talk about endemic species so what are these endemic species are those species of plants and animals exclusively in a particular area they are not naturally found anywhere else so this means destruction of that particular habitat would make them extinct sal and wild mango are endemic flora of the pachmani biosphere reserve bison indian giant squirrel and flying squirrel are the endemic fauna of this area apart from these plants and animals black and rufous fly catcher broad tailed grass bird forest owlet green everdevet great jungle fowl and many other animals are found only in specific areas of india hence this endemic species need to be protected so now you know how plants and animals are being conserved to sum up wild sanctuary national park and biosphere reserve are the names given to the areas meant for conservation and preservation of forest and wild animals plants and animals of a particular area are known as the flora and fauna of that area endemic species are found only in a particular area for example sal and wild mango tree and species like indian giant squirrel and lastly red data book contains a record of endangered species that's all for now bye bye children